investigation reveals 450 plus clergy abusers in the Illinois Catholic Church. An investigation led by the Illinois Attorney General's Office has revealed a shocking prevalence of sexual abuse within the Catholic Church, accusing 451 clergymen of sexually abusing nearly 2,000 children over the span of 69 years. These numbers significantly exceed the initial 103 victims reported by the Catholic Church when the investigation was initiated in 2018. From 103 to almost 2,000. Okay, let's continue. The report suggests that- All in one state. Yes, yes, one state over 70 years. The report suggests that the Illinois church leaders were slow to respond to the abuse, often avoiding confrontations with accused clergy and failing to warn parishioners about potential abusers. Attorney General Kwame Raoul credits those who brought accusations against the church, stating, quote, it is my hope that this report will shine light both on those who violated their positions of power and trust to abuse innocent children and on the men in church leadership who covered up that abuse. As a result of the report, the Catholic Diocese in Illinois have pledged to review their policies and make the necessary changes, yada, yada, yada. This groundbreaking investigation echoes similar findings across various states and opens the conversations about the scale of abuse within the Catholic Church. Now, I wanted to cover this because the Catholic Church is actually pretty significant in the state of Illinois. I believe somewhere between 24 to 27% of all people living in Illinois, in Illinois are Catholic. So it's a pretty significant population, meaning this has this is a pretty significant institution and then uh, scale of the problem accordingly. Honestly, Like, it's not even surprising, obviously, because we've been hearing about this across the United States, like, for so long, for the past 20 years, it's just been, like, in all these powerful dioceses, like, just these revelations continuing to come to light repeatedly over and over and over and over again, to the point that it's a normal joke in my country that Catholic priests are PDF-files. Like, it's a sensitive joke that people make. People go, oh, but like, it's a normal joke. Like it's, this is completely understood, right? And when I was, I wanted to cover this because this is a really large and significant investigation that came out recently. And there was a association for survivors of this kind of abuse that came forward. And they said that even the numbers by this state report is lower than what they think the reality is. But even beyond, like, so, I mean, there's a lot that could be said, but there's a lot that we have already said. And when I was reading this story and doing my research, I was sitting there, Armin, and I was just, like, kind of losing my mind. But then I'm like, am I losing my mind? Because when I was reading this, my immediate and honest reaction is just, like, shut the whole thing down. Shut the whole thing down. How can this happen in like damn near every diocese, every state, every major city across America, let alone the world? There's a huge, we haven't even talked about this yet. There is a, there's a series of scandals and things being exposed in Bolivia right now that are like shaking the country. So this is across the world. And I'm like, when you look at something like this that is so pervasive across an institution across the world in every city my immediate reaction is just like shut it all down shut the whole thing down is there any other institution in the world that has see i'm legitimately asking because maybe i don't know is there another institution in the world that has this problem that's this systematic that's this notorious this well known at this point that is still one is there any other institution that fits that criteria two if there is is it allowed to continue is it allowed to keep going is it allowed to have in my country 
you know, tax exempt status. And so I was like, I, I, my, my brain just broke. And I was like, shut, shut the whole thing down. But then I'm like, cause especially coming from the family that I come from, coming from the community that I come from, my place of origin, they'd be like, Susanna, that's really like too much. Like you're really having too big of a reaction. Like we need to be more nuanced about this. You can't just shut this down. This is a way of life for a lot of people. You know, I would get a lot of pushback for having that opinion. But then I'm like, it, so th that makes me second guess myself. Like, am I, did my brain break? Like, am I actually thinking about this uncritically? But then I'm like, am, but then I, then I triple guess myself. <laughs> I'm like, am I gaslighting myself? Because would this be tolerated in any other context? That, that's exactly what I was, I was going to say, but you said it first. I was going to say, like, I cannot understand like, the fact that we have such a global organization that it seems like uh, the main purpose of it is to use Jesus as a way to raise money for the legal support of people who abuse children. That seems like this is this is what this is organization about. Jesus is secondary. Protecting abusers is the main mission of this in the institution. I mean, yeah, well, I don't how are far, we? But... <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> it seems, that's why I say it seems like it. But the thing is that this, why, how is this tolerated? Like the fact that the world hasn't come together to just shut this thing down by now is... It, I think the, the, it's not just a Catholic church that has failed. It's the world that has failed. The world has failed. That why, why has the world tolerated this so far? Like, if I was in charge of anything, if I was in charge, like, I would be like, let's, inv let's just, like, invade the Vatican and shut the whole thing down. Like, what <laughs> the hell? What is this? Like, why is the world just sitting by and just like, yeah, this is like, yeah, I guess, I guess they do this. I mean... Uh, yeah, like you no, know, nowhere else this would be tolerated. I mean, the fact that they have their own country that makes it harder, right? Because the Taliban, they tol we tolerate the Taliban, right? So I guess we tolerate them as well. Oh, jeez, like, yeah, I, Mustafa. I mean, this is a good point, Mustafa. This is the level that we're at. He's saying, I won't lie. As an atheist in America, I, I internally write this stuff off if it's associated. I, he writes it off more if it's associated with the Catholic Church. Just like, oh, of course. Yeah, it's like, it's, just like, it's, like, it's, it's like blasé at this point. It's normalized. Yeah, like it's just, it's just an institution that part of what they do it's is so, abuse children. It's and so normal that there are stories coming out about this all the time. And I don't even cover most of them because it's just like, oh, another priest horrifically doing yeah. something to a child again. Oh, another story well that's not enough variety for us to cover that's shocking mm. it's just become the known acceptable part of just like the the human experience like yeah these are but we I, have I this wanna... institution that not yeah. only we don't shut down they're tax exempt taxpayer you know and they do this and they just are and we have accepted them as a norm as part of a society yeah, D is saying, and people still donate. Yeah, people still donate so that so tons of this money can go to their legal fees. And then when an archdiocese gets in too much trouble, the archdiocese just declares bankruptcy so that they don't have to pay out anyone and they don't have to deal with like most of the fallout from the like the real consequences. Where the fuck is the accountability? Mm. Like it's mind boggling. And I this is a question I have for our audience. Because I, I I was really trying to think of something. I'm like, what would be the closest equivalent to an institution in either America or the world where we can allow it to still function with this kind of a reputation? Because I'm having a hard time thinking of an example. Maybe it wouldn't be quite the same level, but what is the closest equivalent? Like, let me know what you guys think. Because for me making this judgment about how my brain is just like, I can't think of any other solution besides just shut this whole thing down. But 
for me to be able to better unpack that reaction I'm having, it would be to help make a comparison to like what's closest and how we would treat something else. But I can't think of another close comparison. So let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah. Also, if you are a person who donates to the Catholic Church or even just goes to a Catholic Church, you are part of the problem. You are an individual who is supporting an institution that is w one of its main purposes is to support and protect people who abuse children. You are disgusting. You should be ashamed. In fact, anybody who calls themselves a Catholic, this is the institution you're supporting. You are part of the problem. You are responsible for children being abused because you're supporting the people who protect child abusers. Mm -hmm. If you are, if you call yourself a Catholic, you are a supporter of child abuse. I'm not exaggerating. That's how, that's what you are. I'm going to, I'm going to be honest. I don't, I don't go that far, but that's okay. I, will, <laughs> I go that far. I, there's like, you know, debate me, debate me on this. You, if you are a Catholic, you are a supporter debate of me, child bro. abuse. Mustafa is saying the Mormon church, maybe, maybe the Jehovah's witnesses. Their, their institutions aren't as large because they're still, you know, one of these newer Christian religions. Although I grew up as a Catholic, so we didn't consider them real Christians. But <laughs> um, uh, Oxymoron is saying you cannot ban an institution, though. You can hold it accountable, though. No, you can. You can't ban institutions. Yeah, institutions have been can. banned. Yeah. We can dissolve. Yeah, you can. Yeah, any 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 corporation yeah. under American law, you can dissolve that or corporation. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You can do that with this, but in yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm and I'm assuming all, any other institution that had this record would have been banned by now. Yeah, and other people are like, yeah, yeah I can't think of any other institution or organization. Yeah. yeah, and people are like, oh, Epstein, oh. blah blah blah. He wasn't operating for well, one two thousand years or like a investigation by the state mm -hmm. you know exposing this over the previous like seven decades you know that's just mm -hmm. one dude that's not an institution and he's not an institution that's not he doesn't have tax exam not... status yes <laughs> he doesn't have it so he and can't he can't also... that he's an international country on one side and then he's actually a religion on the other side like <laughs> also it wasn't like he was he was an individual okay he didn't have tax exam status and also, it wasn't like people knew about it and they let him continue doing it. Like, they let him be the way he, like, if people, it, like, once he was discovered, then he was captured. Like, it wasn't like, oh, we know he does it and he still gets away with it. But the Catholic Church does get away with it. Uh, we got a super chat. Thank you so much from GJ. GJ saying, well, how is it still normal for over 71% of U.S. baby boys to all get circumcised, including Christians. I don't hey, know. GJ, That's don't another... put words in our mouth because it's not normal. It should. No, it is Who normal. Who the hell here said normal. that it was normal? No, it is normal. It shouldn't be normal. Like, no, it is normal. It is normal. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's disgusting. That's another... That's a separate, but that's another thing religion has managed to normalize as if this mm -hmm. is just acceptable. Oh, like, yeah, just like cut off part cut off baby parts and you're like oh yeah it's it's completely accepted it's disgusting it's bizarre this is a human rights crisis that needs to be addressed but people Seriously. don't treat it like that hindu yeah. historian hello friend he's giving you some pushback armin about your statements about mm -hmm. catholics he's saying if someone mm -hmm. was born a catholic and taught catholicism from the cradle <laughs> that's me um are they really to blame for being a member of the catholic church yeah because they could leave they could leave. I mean, would you say that about somebody who was born within an ISIS family and now they're an ISIS fighter? We just like, oh, they were born into it. Can they be blamed for it? Okay, I mean, well, that's actually, I don't think that's a sold. good example because the ISIS example is so extreme that there could be very severe consequences to your safety and your life if you try to leave. So that's not a good example because you know, there's very good reasons why maybe someone would stay. <laughs> no, 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 no. You could leave ISIS. I'm not saying leaving Islam. I'm saying leaving, leaving ISIS. You could, you could leave ISIS. Okay. I mean, I've heard the Anyways. stories of some of the kids that were taken there and what they had to go yeah. through to try to leave. Yeah. It's no small thing. Yeah, some if of someone them. decided to stay, I get so, it. Okay, there are a lot of people that I know that within Afghanistan and other places that they were like, 
were at least sympathizers and they're just not sympathizers anymore. Okay. They're not going to come hunt okay, everyone. Yes. I'm talking okay. about like, if yeah. you're in freaking. Any... Okay, Can sorry, I make a point on. though? Can I please make a point? Yes. What you're thinking, what you're thinking I'm saying is that that is, that is the only um, factor. Obviously environment is a factor. Obviously mm -hmm. the conditions that you're born in is a factor, right? But if that's your line of reasoning, then nobody could be blamed for anything. Because anybody, if you go find anybody that has committed the worst crimes, I could point to you about the conditions that they were born in, the environment that they were in, and you will have an explanation for why they became criminals, or for mm -hmm. why they became abusers, for why they became uh, rapists, or like whatever, whatever they did, right? But... I mean, this is goes into the line of like, are you a determinist? Because basically we are all a product of our environment. And if that line of reasoning, then we can't hold anybody responsible for anything. If that's how you want to uh, rationalize, rationalize things, right? Um, but yeah, I did give an extreme example to just make that point, right? Like you could, I don't know, like Adolf H. Like I could go and explain the conditions that he was born in, the things that he was exposed to. And the experiences and be given that environment, I could be like, well, I can see now why he has those conclusions. But explanation and justifications are two separate things. Mm -hmm. We got a, a super chat from Mustafa. Mustafa is saying, uh, oh, <laughs> well, yeah, guys, Mustafa is saying Atheist Republic should invade the Vatican and claim it. By the way, YouTube, this is a joke. <laughs> We're joking. But in line with this joke, if you guys... I've heard, Susanna, that armies are ex expensive, right? Uh -huh, they are. And they are. So if you guys want us to get to a point where Atheist Republic <laughs> could raise an army, you should consider donating to us. Link to our PayPal is in the description. You can join the army. <laughs> no, no. No, don't By join the army. making a donation. Just... No, no, no. We don't want mercenary. Yeah, well, actually, that would be... Yeah, never mind. No, no, just donate, and we will eventually have enough to raise an army. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> or join the Armin agitators. Mm. Oh, Hindu Hindu historian was convinced with my points. Fair point. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> I don't know. For me, like I, I know so many people that come from like a Catholic culture, and it's just kind of like how their families come together and it's a, more of a cultural practice than a religious belief. So yes, I'm not as, I don't go as far as you in that opinion. I, what I think my strategy works because you need to shock some people into understanding what they're supporting. Do you know what I mean? Fair enough. Okay. I see like, what you mean. I, I see that the, I know that they're well-meaning people, but I need to like, you know, like tell them like, this is what you're supporting because I'm, I'm shocked with you. I need to shock them because I know it might work because they're well meaning people like you are doing this. Do you understand? I like, yeah, I think it works. I think it, you know, some people need to be shocked out of supporting mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're telling me Armin's <laughs> tactic is shock and awe. <laughs> Color me surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me his tactic is provocation <laughs> and controversy. <laughs> Oh my God, who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> my God. All right. Uh, yeah, guilty. That's guilty. why I love you. That's why I joined Atheist Republic. <laughs> no, I love you too. <laughs> that actually is why right. when I discovered Atheist Republic, I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? This guy, like, I always admired you for your willingness to tell what you believe is true, even if it comes at a cost. Because I know, mm. I, at the time in my life, I knew so many people who were more willing to remain popular than say what was right. And mm. so that's what, something I've always admired about you. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at this guy for saying I love you both. Well, thank Ow. you. <laughs> Ow. And right now we're looking for video editors. Video editors would be working with me. Graphic designers. I think graphic designers would be working with Susie. Um, uh, grant research and writing assistant, they would be working with Susie. Team coordinator or volunteer applicant ma application managers, they would be working with me. English to Persian translators, they would be working with me. Voiceover narrators would be working with me. 
high profile guest uh, finder and coordinator that would they would be working with me that position live event speaking opportunity hunter that would be working with Susanna uh, news cur curator and writer that would be working with Susanna art team manager and payment coordinator that's a position that would be working with Susanna financial coordinator and bookkeeper that's a position that would be working with Susanna uh, social media manager that's a position that would be working with me a Drupal web developer, that's another position that we're working with Susanna. And lastly, live stream co-host in the background, most likely, unless somebody is really good. Um, you know, that would be for maybe secular jihadist recording videos, or if they speak Persian for maybe for Persian, uh, the show, that would be working with me. Again, the link to the application for volunteers is in the description and also in the live stream. Um, so if you want to join our team as a volunteer, please consider doing so.